tell you this, that I just love Changi Airport. <laughs> <laughs> because you were able to come through the airport and there was no delay and the people were friendly and it was just such a pleasure. I was really encouraged yeah, when this. I come to, uh, to Singapore today. So I'm really excited to be here. I've met some fantastic people. I, and I want to say that, um, you know, every time I travel around the world and I, I meet brand partners from all over the world, um, I get particularly excited about meeting Asian brand partners. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's because Asian brand partners are the most professional in all of the world, the most excited in all of the world, and Vima Asia is leading the world in Vima. So give yourself a big round of applause. Congratulations to James, who's a brand new Vima executive leader today. We're really excited about him. And uh, let me grab my water there because I think it's dry. Uh, and uh, I, I really like the idea of, uh, of listening to Dr. Coe. The first time I met Dr. Coe was uh, about 11 years ago, I think. And, uh, you know, he really has an incredible understanding of what this entire product is all about. And uh, I, I've got to tell you something, and I haven't told you this before, I'm a diabetic. And I've been taking Vima since Vima first came out. And I've just come back from my test, a uh, blood test that I've had around about uh, eight weeks ago. And I'm now no longer diabetic. Wow. Of course, I always have the propensity to be a diabetic, but I try to do the right thing. I'm here today to, uh, to meet all of our brand partners and over this week uh, travel around through Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia to meet our brand partners and share the good news about this company, Vima, this opportunity that's here. But in particular, to encourage people. And I've been encouraged because when I first got involved with Vima six years ago, uh, building my business out of Australia, um, my very first commission check was $8.36. Who's excited? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, well, I've got to tell you that I wasn't that excited, but um, over the last couple of years, I've been able to build a successful organisation all around the world. And today, as uh, James had said, my organisation expands to the US, all through Europe, all through Asia, through Australia, and now into Africa. And, uh, and I can tell you that last year, VK Bareko, the president, the founder and CEO, paid me a little over $700,000 last year. So the $8.36 has turned into something magnificent. And, I, and I'm really encouraged. Actually, my wife's really encouraged. <laughs> she likes that idea. I've got to work out how to work this thing. If I do that there, I said to my wife, she, she came into my home office and she said to me, what are you, um, what are you speaking about? And I said, well, I've, I've got a few moments to speak on encouragement. And I said, her name is Marie. And I said, Marie, what does encouragement mean to you? And she said, hmm, let me think about that. And so she went out of my office and she went out to where we, the back of the house where we live. I'll show you that in a minute. And she came back with a piece of paper she written out and she put it on my desk. And I read it and I was blown away. And so this is what... Now I've broken it. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, there we go. Here we go. I found it. I worked it out. Encouragement. Encouragement is the fuel to feed the soul. It's the gas in the tank to keep us moving on. The soft word in our ear or the kick in our rear, whatever it takes. Encouragement is the companion that walks hand in hand with the hard work that is needed to complete the task. It is the supplement needed to enhance our daily lives, just as Vima is needed to supplement our daily health. And I thought, wow, did I marry up? <laughs> <laughs> She's so smart, you know. Encouragement, you need to be aware of what others are doing, applaud their efforts, acknowledge their success, and encourage them in their pursuits. When we all help one another, everybody wins. How true is that? And we're in a business where it's all about helping others. You see, our success is based upon how we can help you become successful. 
If you want to become successful, you need to help the next person in your organization become successful. That's the way it works. And you do that by encouraging them. You do that by hard work. A word of encouragement during a failure is worth more than an hour of praise after success. Who's ever felt down? I feel down. My wife comes and says, get up. <laughs> get on with it. But she encourages me all the time. She tells me that she believes in me. Nine-tenths of education is encouragement. Isn't that so true? Nine-tenths of all the education we do is encouraging each other to do it. And that's what I want to do this week, is encourage you to do a better job. So what is encouragement? Well, encouragement is necessary. It's rewarding. It is uplifting. It's free to give out. And it's totally duplicatable, just like the business we're in which is totally duplicatable. A true leader will encourage freely. It goes with the job description of being a leader. And I love that part. You know, I, I've been uh, partnering with Mr. Kenneth Coe now for uh, almost 11 years. And what a great, inspiring man is Kenneth. You know, brings Vima to Asia. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> brings Vima to Asia, opens up the entire Asian market. Now here in Singapore, in Taiwan, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, soon in Hong Kong. I don't know what else you've got planned, but I know that you and VK Barako, you get together and you do some amazing things. How do I encourage? Well, it's pretty important to speak positively. Edify your brand partners. Edify your upline. Promote events and encourage participation. And you know, let's talk about it. There were supposed to be 50 people here. What went wrong? <laughs> you know, 85 people came here. Some can't even get a seat. I love that. Be helpful, be honourable, and be perceptive. So encouragement is really, really important. I'm encouraged all the time. I encourage a new brand partner every single day. And I do that by first being a, being a great student of my business. See... When you learn, then teach the compensation plan to every new brand partner you enrol, or three-way them into a call with an upline, help them develop an action plan, help them with their first meeting, be at their first home event and plug them into their support system, and most importantly, be, be perceptive, you'll find that your business will start to grow exponentially. You know, I do calls all over the world. Every day I'm on Skype. Who, who likes Skype? I love Skype. Well, not that many, not that many people. When I, when I say that in America, all the hands go up. You know, we, we, do, we do calls all around the world with uh, people on Skype. Ah, okay. I thought you'd have something to say. <laughs> Very good, thank you. And, you know, by, by doing these calls... We share with people all of the time the magnificent about the magnificent product we have, Vima. And it's incredible how we can spread this business. You know, when I started building my business in Australia, we were paying $123 Australian for one pack of Vima. And, and now we have this fantastic product in Australia. We've got a great price on the product, and I've been able to use Skype and share this business right around the world. And now we have thousands and thousands and thousands of people working with us. And what we've done is we've simply taught them exactly what we learned. We learned how the compensation plan worked, and we shared it with them. And that's all this is about, is simply duplicate. Don't complain about it, do something about it. I love this saying, you'll catch more flies with honey than you will with vinegar. I like to think that's an old Australian proverb, but I don't really think it is. Remember, man does not live on bread alone. Sometimes he needs a little buttering up. <laughs> pay it forward. What does that actually mean, pay it forward? Well, when you do something, when somebody does something nice for you, and you do something nice for somebody else, and they do something nice for somebody else, don't, don't you feel good? Isn't it great when you can help somebody? And, and you can feel better, you build them up. You're absolutely right. So pay it forward. And that's what this business is all about. It's amazing what will lift you. That's my backyard. 
That's where I live. And I don't know if you can see that really clearly, but there's my swimming pool. And there's a beautiful big lake out the back. It's an ocean lake. Here's another view. Now, I will point something out. If you look there at the hedge, it needs trimming. I will have a word to my wife about that. <laughs> it's a nice place to live. As a matter of fact, I want to tell you a little story. And it's the reason why I put that picture there. You see, when I stand in my uh, TV room or lounge room and I look out the window, that's the view that I see. And one particular Saturday morning, Marie and I were getting ready to go out to do some shopping. And I was standing looking out the window. I do that a lot. And right in the distance, around about that point there, I saw this beautiful big pelican. Now, who knows what a pelican looks like? Okay. A pelican is a really big seabird. It's got really wide wings. It stands about that high. It's got a big, big beak. And when it opens its mouth, it's huge. And it was right down that part of the lake, around about there. And I happened to look at it and just admired it for a while. And that's what a pelican is. That pelican, right? Now... There's a reason I showed that pelican. You see, Marie and I went out to do our shopping. And later on that day, when we came home, in the distance, right out there, was the pelican. It had been there all day. And as I looked down the bottom of my garden, and I saw that bench there, I saw something poking out from the top of the bench. And so I walked down and had a look, and it was a fishing rod. You probably know where I'm going here. And as I looked at the fishing rod, I could see that it was bent over, and there was a long line going right out to the pelican. Somebody had been fishing on the empty block next door to my house and it hooked the pelican. And what happened was, they didn't know what to do. 